honestly, if you have not been doing this every month, you are just lacking behind. You are not just doing yourself good because you are really, really missing a lot. This amazing gift that God Almighty gave us as a bonus to humanity, as a privilege for us to talk to Him, for us to say our intention, for us to table to Him what we needed Him to do for us. Like seriously, if you have not been doing this full moon prayer every month, I must tell you that you are really, really missing a lot. And thanks to God Almighty, because the testimony of last month full moon was so mind blowing that I was imagining that oh, so God is ever faithful this way, which I know He's ever faithful. The reason why sometimes we are finding things very difficult is because we don't know ability we don't know what we have we don't know the bonus we don't know the privilege we have over things that we have within us in delivery so in today's video i'm also here to remind you of this moon the month of May full moon and share with you some important things that you need to do on this full moon to open the door of your prosperity and believe you me no power will close it so if you want to know more about this on how to go about it keep watching while i share with you Good morning to you all everyone, good afternoon and good evening. I'm greeting you all, depend on wherever you are watching me from. If you are new in my channel, thank you for joining. My name is Promise. So in this channel, I share about the spiritual things, how to use natural things for spiritual use. So if you find it helpful and you want to know more, please do ring the red button. You hit the red button, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to ring the bell notification. So you will always get notified whenever I upload a new video. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you very much for coming back always. I love you and stay blessed. So guys, congratulations to all of you that is about to perform this particular amazing prayer or this particular well, full moon prayer. And congratulations to you as well that have been doing this since ever I started posting about it. You will discover that things must surely be working for you because praying with the full moon is one of the fattest way is one of the amazing way that you can table your request to god almighty to god of the universe to the forces that surround the earth for your prayers to be more fast in answer so what is that thing that you are that is troubling your life what is that problem what is that situation what is that thing that is a stumbling block in your life that the thing that you felt that oh you have tried so many things you prayed you visited so many places and yet this problem refused to go i'm telling you to come out on the 16th of this month make this prayer tell me this request before your god tell the god almighty the god of the universe and believe you you wake up and you will never see that problem again so praying with the full moon is an amazing way on which you can pray and get a fast answer now how do you pray on the moon firstly every month has a full moon like every month like if you have been following me for a long time now or if you have been part of my family you'll notice that i've been posting a monthly basis reminding you of the day of the full moon because this prayer is an amazing prayer okay so like i said this month which is the month of may full moon is on the 16th of this month i hope you are happy and you are getting ready for your uh, prayers and the items you needed now in participating this full moon this thing applicable to anyone whether you're a man you're a woman whether you're in your period whether you're your basis whether anything so this is an open uh, this is an open check to us for us to receive what we want all right now like i said there is so many ways that you can pray on the moon for a fast answer using some items that you have access in daily basis now number one like this month full moon like i said on my live video about two days ago sometimes i just came to tell you today is a full moon today but every moon has a name what i mean by a name like this month full moon is a flower moon is a moon that is all about beautiful things is a moon that is all about so if you're a lady you are not married that you want to get married believe me this is the opportunity for you to grab your marriage if you are the type that you married you don't have peace you don't have joy this is an opportunity because this month full moon is all about roses it's all about flowers it's all about good things and you know that flower has a lot of spiritual benefit maybe i will come to tell you about that
that so always get a beautiful flower with a fine color keep it in your bedroom believe you me it has a, a it has many many spiritual reasons it attract peace in a home it attract love so let me not just go to that area now in participating in this moon full moon please pay attention because after doing this recipe you must surely come back with your testimony number one item you'll be needing first of all get a plain sheet of paper okay when you get a plain sheet of paper you are going to first of all write your name this prayer you can do it for anybody you can do it for your husband you can do it for your wife you can do it for your children anybody all right or you can do it for the whole family now you are going to write your full name the names of everybody you are praying for all right then a plain white sheet of paper then you are going to write all those names after that now you're going to write your prayer request but let me tell you i want you to be specific why i mean that is that so that there is sometimes that we are being confused that when we keep asking for a lot of things let me tell you there is problems in daily base but there is some particular thing that is like a toy in your flesh that this particular one is very very necessary that you want to get rid of it all right so i want you to go on this particular one so that you will focus your intention so that you'll be able to focus so that you will place your intention very well it matters a lot when you are preparing all these recipes okay now after that you list those things at least five prayer points now let me tell you another thing sometimes let me tell like sometimes the the, the time when i was doing group uh, uh full moon which by grace of god I'm going to start it again, all right? Now, if you want to set out your intention, let's assume you want to travel abroad. Be specific. Don't just say, eh, oh God, oh God, I want to. Be specific, God Almighty, the God of the universe. By this time, so, so, so time, I want to be in Canada. I want to be in U.S. I want to be in Paris. I want to be in Germany. This is setting your intention. This is speaking to the universe exactly what your heart is speaking on. All right? Don't just say, hey, I want to travel. You are traveling. Why are you traveling to? Somebody can travel to your village. You can travel to Imo State. You can travel to Enugu State. You can travel to Ondo. So always be specific. This is why, why I always tell you to set your intention. Okay? Now, you are going to list. Maybe you need, you, you want to get married. That's your earnest desire and you want to participate in this recipe. Please just follow me because I really want you to understand because I know that after this month full moon, your life will surely change. Now, you want to get married. Be specific. Oh God of the moon. Oh God of the moon. Oh God of the universe. From now to the ending of this December, I want to get married to my desire and begin to speak into existence that quality you want in a man. You are a man, you want money. Begin not say, oh God, I want God, I want you to open door for me. Financial breakthrough. Be specific. Alright? Then after you're done doing that, after say, after writing those requests that you that those are your prayer requests, okay? Now, what you need to do is this. Firstly, you are going to get original honey. Original honey, please. If the honey is not original, don't bother using it. Just say your prayer and go home. Get original honey. Get cinnamon powder. Get yourself seven or three pieces of white candle. Alright? Now, get sugar. Now, when you get all these items together, this is what you are going to do. First of all, you are going to mix the cinnamon with the original honey cinnamon and original honey and the sugar mix everything together inside the honey now after you're done writing all your prayer requests you are going to use this mixture to rub like to rub on that your request all right rub it on your request very very well as you're rubbing it you are praying if you have been following me you will know that cinnamon is all about attraction it's all about attraction. So, you are going to pray concerning that sugar brings taste, sugar brings sweetness, sugar brings good things. So, you understand all these things. You know about honey. Honey is all about sweet things. When, it, when you drop honey, thousands of beers, everything. So, this is how you want your life to attract so many good things that this earth can offer. Then, after you're done writing those things on that paper, okay, you are going to 
now keep it you can do it before the moon comes out you can do it on that particular time when moon come now this is what you are going to do when it when immediately you see the moon which is on the 16th of this month it comes on the 16th now take all this your your items outside to the moon if you are sick this is an opportunity for you if you are if somebody is troubling you, it's also an opportunity for you. Go and report to the moon. Make sure that your hands are clean before you are reporting. Alright? Make sure that your hands are clean. You are not guilty of that particular thing that that person is, like, the person is, uh, you are trying to pray, pray on. Because it will be a back to sender. But if you know that you are very innocent of that, go to the moon and report that person. Mention the name of the person 21 times. Why you tell the moon to judge you and that person? Come back after seven days and tell me what happened. Okay? Now, after you're done doing that, okay, this is what you are going to do. On that particular day of the moon, take all this item to the moon. If you can stand, stand barefooted. If you cannot leave that, if you cannot leave that, you are sick, lie down. Make sure you are facing the moon. Now, you are going to hold your white candle, like I said, either three pieces or seven pieces now get all the requests that you have written now make sure you open everything to the air facing the moon while you two you are facing the moon make sure you face the moon begin to pray concerning those your requests begin to talk to the universe begin to talk to god almighty begin to talk the god in heaven tell god that thing that is troubling you tell pray according to those things that you listed as your prayer request then after you're done doing that, give God, let me tell you one thing, give God time. God is a God of time. He's a God of commitment. Give God time. Tell God from now to so, so, so pain, so, 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 so day, if you do this for me, I'm going to do this for you. It's a challenge. Let me tell you, if you are doing prayers and you make this such covenant or this such agreement, the answer is always immediately. But where you see that is let me not just say negative, but make sure you fulfill that promise. All right? You can tell God that if you do this for me, I'm going to do this for you. You're going to visit the orphanage. It's just a little thing. Nobody is charging you. It's just out of your heart. Decide on yourself what you feel you can do to. Freely, without you, murmuring, without you, feeling as if somebody is forcing you to do that. Okay, oh God, if you bless me with this husband from now to the end of this year, I'm going to clothe single ladies. Oh God, I'm going to clothe, I'm going to the orphanage to fill them, I'm going to visit the beggar. This is what I mean by making a covenant with your curator. Then, after you're done praying those prayers on the full moon, you can pray according to your strength and according to your desire and according to your spirit. Then, after you're done praying, Take those items, please pay attention. Take those items inside where you can light the either three candle or the seven candle. Round it with those your prayer requests and on it. When you own it, you just say a little prayer, maybe five seconds or one minute. Oh God, as I light this candle, which is white candle, white candle represents peace. White candle represents purity. White candle represents good things. It represents light. Lord, no man on this earth will quench my life. No man on this earth will cause me pain. No man in this life will bring shame to me. Alright? Then you light the candle. You can light the candle in your room. You can light it in your toilet. You can light anywhere you know it's safe. But please don't light it where it's close to your wardrobe or where it will catch fire. Just get something, it can be a meter, it can be some stainless, you know that it's not going to burn. Use it and light that candle. Then allow that candle to burn till the next morning. Please pay attention. When it gets to the next morning, remember that the candle wax is going to burn, melt on that particular request. Because you have already round your request on the candle. Now, after that, get the wax, dispose it for the pepper, burn it, and when you see the early morning sun, Go to the early morning sun and blow it up to the universe. Tell God of the sun that as you have concluded your prayers on the moon, that let the God of the sun is the same God Almighty for the negative mindset people. God created everything on this earth. 
God created, even the leaves, even the house, whatever we are using in this life, God is the God of everything. God is the God of everything. Okay? Tell God of the moon, oh God, as I've concluded and tell my request before you on the moon, I am permanenting it on this sun, so from now to so, so, so that let it begin to manifest. Blow up the ashes of that your request. Whether it burn to ashes, but make sure you burn it. Make sure there is something that you are to blow off. All right. Then that is for that. Now for that night of the moon, for the on the sixteenth of this moon, before you sleep, after praying with your after praying your prayers on the moon, before you sleep. Get a bucket of water, very powerful. If you are sick, if you have somebody that has a mental disorder, if you have somebody that is facing spiritual challenges, try this particular one. On that particular day, drop a bucket of water outside where the moon will where you will stay on the moon till the next morning. Now, when you wake up in the morning, now when you put the water, put three pieces of sea salt. I mean sea salt, please. But if you don't have sea salt, you, you can use the normal salt. But please always use sea salt because it's just a natural salt for spiritual uses. Now, put three pieces of sea salt inside. Put one cube of sugar inside the water. Three pieces, three tablespoons of original honey inside the water. Drop it outside after you're done making your prayers. Now, when you wake up in the morning, which is on the 17th, Please, I don't want anybody to be confused. You drop it on that full moon, which is on the 16th night. When you wake up early morning on the 17th, between 4, 5, or 6, depend on you, go and take that water to your bedroom. Pray and tell God, as this water is full of sweet things, let my life attract sweetness. Let my life attract good people. Let my life attract positive energy. All right, then after that, use that water and bed. Don't clean your body and please don't use soap, only the water. Use it and pour on your body. I give you seven days. You will begin to see all those things that you prayed for manifesting. This one is as if they play in the show. I don't play with full moon, and that is why I kept making the video every month in this channel, and the testimony is always mind blowing. Now, let us assume you are living in a house where you cannot come to the moon outside your house, maybe because of some security reason. Okay? Now, stay at your back corner, facing the moon, say your prayers. But for the water, you can skip it because that water needs to be outside for the moon early money deal to enter into the water. But let's assume where you are is not where you will skip the water outside no problem stay on your back corner make your prayers with your request your candle your cinnamon your sea salt uh, your your sugar and your original honey after that burn it then after you done boiling it let me tell you for those that cannot keep for those that cannot keep the water outside because of some breezes maybe those that are not in nigeria on or that now when, what you're going to do is this now, when in the morning, when you wake up in the morning, before you burn that pepper, or after burning the pepper, all right, get a little ashes from that pepper that that your request a little, just it will not be much. Even if you just you put your hand and just touch a little, then you're going to put it inside the water. You put bring water outside. Then after you're done making that prayer, drop a bucket of water inside your bedroom. Now, when you wake up and burn the pepper, use the ashes and put it inside the inside the water. Okay, then use it and bed. This is for those that cannot keep water outside. Then, when you wake up, put your right middle finger inside. Pray and talk to the universe. Pray and talk to God. Tell God to permanent those things that you are praying on the moon. And believe you me, it will surely come to manifestation. Like I said, praying with the full moon is one of the fattest way to table your request. If you have something that is troubling, you want to talk to God about, you want to talk to the universe, this is opportunity for you. Somebody is troubling you, your relative, they are not doing well, your mother, your children are not doing well, this is an opportunity for you. Try this method and believe me, you will surely come back with a testimony. So I wish I share with you because I love you so much. 
And I pray that as you embark in this journey, testimony, blessing, favor will be your name. Thank you very much for watching. I wish you success. Please, if you love this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe and share if you have not done that. And see you in my next video. Stay blessed wherever you are. Bye.